Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, no, I want to give the clear introduction of logic-based testing, so which is the content of the fifth unit of the software testing methodologies. So what is the meaning of logic actually? So what are the various contents of the logic? What are the things that are relevant to the logic? Now we are going to see in this uh, particular session. See, uh, logic means uh, that is whatever thing that we are getting the on answer for any kind of the question that may be true or false, yes or no, um, 0 or 1 like that. So that is called some Boolean type, either 0 or 1, either this or that. So that is comes under the logic. That means we can represent such kind of the logic in the form of the decision tables. Okay, so the decision table can also contains the answers such as yes or no, true or false, 0 or 1 like that only. So that is one of the example of the decision table. And most of the programming uh, um, things can conclude can include these decision tables. Most of the programming logic can be represented by using this decision table. And some of the functional requirements of the many programs can also be specified by these decision tables. So this kind of the decision tables can provide a good uh, uh, scenario for the program for testing. So it provides a clear path for uh, conducting the testing of such kind of the program. Okay. So decision tables helps us not only to design the program, but also helpful for uh, testing of a program also to test the design also. Okay. So now coming to the consistency and completeness. What are the consistency and completeness for this of this particular uh, logic based testing? It can be analyzed by using the Boolean algebra. So whatever program is there, the consistent or complete or not, it can be analyzed by using this particular logic and Boolean algebra. So this Boolean algebra can also be represented by, as we all of you know, that can be represented by using the Karnoff graphs and Karnoff weight charts. Okay. Next, so coming to the logic, what is logic actually? Okay, so it is one of the for a term that can be most probably used in the programming and the pro by the programmers and vocabulars and um, mostly used for uh, uh, programming uh, design. Okay, so Boolean algebra is to logic as arithmetic is to mathematics. So whatever Boolean algebra now we are going to use is to logic as arithmetic is to mathematics. So Boolean algebra can be represented to represent the logic whereas arithmetic is used to represent it comes under the mathematics. So logic, uh, this particular logic is implemented using the Boolean algebra in the hardware design actually. So not only from this time, it can be implemented from the past several days. Uh, it is used, um, it is going to be used for hardware logic designers. So Boolean algebra is the integrated part of the logic, whereas arithmetic is the integrated part of the mathematics. Like that we can conclude. And uh, Boolean algebra can be especially implemented by using this particular logic. Any test methods developed for software for hardware logic can be adapted to software logic testing. It is a software logic testing will be there. So there we included many test methods developed for hardware logic. Okay. Hardware testing is the basis for software testing. When, unless there is no uh, so hardware, there is no so software testing. So both are integratedly can work with each other, collaboratively can work with each other, right? So as programming test techniques have improved, the bugs have shifted closer to the process front end to requirements and their specifications. As programming and test techniques, whatever now we are using the programming techniques and testing methods have improved, the bugs uh, shifted to the closer to the process front end to the requirements and their specifications. We can clearly view from the front end what are the bugs to be analyzed, what are the bugs to be catched. These bugs normally range from 8% to 30% of the total because they are first in last out and they are costly of all. So these bugs are as well uh, usually range from 8 to 30% of the total because they are first in last out manner they follows. Okay, so they are costliest of all because bug uh, identification is one of the costliest technique among all. Now, Boolean algebra is the most basic for all the logic systems. 
and higher order logic systems are needed and used for formal specifications much of the logical analysis can be is embedded in tools but these tools incorporate methods to simplify transform check specifications and methods are to a large extent based on boolean algebra okay so what this is saying boolean algebra is also known as the sentential calculus boolean algebra is the basic for all the logic systems most of the logic systems can be implemented with the help of boolean algebra only the other name of this boolean algebra is also called as sentential calculus okay so higher order logical systems are also there they are needed and used for most of the formal specifications and much of the logic analysis can be uh, embedded in tools okay so some of the tools mostly use this logic analysis and these tools incorporate methods to simplify transform and check specifications and the method methods are to a large extent based on boolean algebra and these tools also uses this boolean algebra in the large extent so they can implement this large boolean algebra in the very large extent so boolean algebra can be perfectly implemented by the all the logic systems and most embedded tools also going to implement this boolean algebra in the large manner in the large scale and now we are going to talk about the knowledge based system what is the purpose of this knowledge based system in the boolean algebra why we are going to use this knowledge based system knowledge based system is a term taken from the artificial intelligence it is also called as the expert system okay and this knowledge based system has become the programming construct of the choice for many applications that were considered very difficult so whenever you are going to implement any kind of the program you consider that it is very difficult to implement you can implement it with the help of this knowledge based systems they can store the knowledge in the form of the rules they can incorporate the knowledge from the knowledge domain such as medicine law or civil Uh, engineering into a database that means what knowledge base contains one kind of the database that is called as the knowledge base knowledge base system can have brain as the knowledge base in that brain it maintains some kind of the logical rules it can maintain so these rules are implemented whenever it is working with any kind of the task next the data can be queried and interacted with to provide solutions and to problems in that domain so whatever data that is there that can be accessed and that can be stored in the particular knowledge based system so knowledge based systems normally uh, stores this particular expert knowledge into some set of the boolean and logical rules and the user can implement some kind of the data and it can he can ask some questions based on the data by implementing by set of the rules on the knowledge based systems okay so data is in the hand of the user so he can provide the data and ask some questions based on the data and the user's data is normally processed to the rule based system to yield conclusions and request for more data so user's data is processed to normally this kind of the rule based to yield conclusions and request for more data normally the processing is done by a program is called as the inference engine knowledge based system inf- implements the inference engine and it can by implementing this set of the rules it can uh, conclude some kind of the rule that that is called as inference rules okay so this thing can be performed by a program that is called as inference engine okay so users data normally processed by using this particular rule base to get the conclusions and these conclusions normally done by the program that is called as inference system this inference system will be stored in the knowledge base of the knowledge based system so what this inference engine will do it will conclude some set of the rules based on the existing rules for example p implies q will be there okay so what it is actually just a minute here the pen is there for example let us see yeah yeah here the pen is for example i will show one example that is p implies q is there so what is the uh, inference of this that is the rule in first inference that is negation p r q right so negation p r q so you can conclude this particular rule into this particular one 
by using the set of the rules available in the knowledge base so these are called the inference rules normally this kind of the process can be done by the knowledge base system itself okay so decision tables are extensively used in business data processing we can implement also the some kind of the decision tables these decision tables can also be used extensively in the business data processing and these decision table preprocess are as extensions to cobol are in common use and boolean algebra is embedded into the implementation of these processes normally cobol can contain some kind of the preprocessors so these preprocessors are normally the decision tables they contain some logical rules and uh, values in the form of either s or no in the in the context only so these preprocessors are extensions to cobol are in common use and uh, boolean algebra is embedded in the implementation of these processes so we can implement boolean algebra to solve such kind of the rules so what is the logical based system actually from the starting onwards this logic based system can be implemented by using the decision tables and carnot charts and uh, boolean algebra is one of the test powerful method to implement this logic and uh, this logic can be implemented not only in the design of the program and also in the testing of a program also okay and bug, bug identification also we can use this uh, logic based testing okay so next uh, boolean algebra can contain uh, various kinds of boolean algebra can be implemented uh, um, by using various kinds of the logic systems can be implemented by using this boolean algebra and higher order logical systems are need, used and needed for formal specifications and these boolean algebra can also contain some kind of uh, logical rules and uh, most of the logic systems can implemented by using this and this is so normally these rules can be implemented by using the artificial intelligence systems also nowadays for example uh, the knowledge based system can contain set of the rules the user provides some set of the data to the knowledge based system and these rules will be implemented on this particular data and the answers will be revealed answers will be given the rule the set of the answers will be given and finally using those rules the finally conclusion will be given based on the inference rules what is the best example for this is p implies q is, is equal to negation p or q that is the inference engine and most of the decision tables that we are going to use based on this uh, logic or based on this boolean algebra can be implemented in business data processing and cobol is one kind of the programming language that can have decision table preprocessors and uh, which is going to be implement uh, some various powerful system powerful uh, boolean algebra systems and boolean algebra is embedded in the implementation of these processes so that is about the introduction to logic uh, uh, programming and the knowledge based system if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all